Hey there guys, welcome back to All Things Apple Plus. Alright, so we got a great game. I am so excited for this game. Call of Duty Mobile for iOS and for Android. It's currently out in the Australian market and I'm going to show you guys how to get this guy on your device. I currently have it set up where I'm a, I'm a guest right now. I haven't really logged in with my Facebook profile, but I'm logged in with a guest and I just started the game maybe about a couple of, maybe about a couple of minutes ago. I've been doing some editing on other videos, so I wanted to check this one out because everybody's talking talking about it but I want to give an in-depth on how the game works and then how to actually install the game onto your iDevice so we're gonna actually get into the main hub here and this is still currently the the tutorial that I'm still on I'm still very new to the game but I'm so excited to see what's in store for this game because I've been hearing great things about it but I haven't seen any so much footage yet just of the game but I'm really excited to see what's at hand and what you can do on this game so Right off the bat, my gosh, this looks like Call of Duty 2, uh, Black Ops 2, actually. Oh, man, this game is, I think, one of the best games, shooter games. I This is one of my favorite games. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was just my favorite. And it looks like we have our jump, we have our, our side here, and then automatically when you hover a target and it turns red, the, your gun will automatically start firing off. So you don't have to worry about shooting or having a... Uh, a specific uh, button to uh, shoot so you can automatically just hover your gun over the guys and then it will automatically shoot from there so we're gonna play these are all computers this isn't an online match at all so and they're all like level one so mind you this is just a very easy map and this is a very easy level I'm sure it's gonna get even more difficult because if, if I'm out in the open like this there's no way that these guys are gonna be able to uh, <laughs> there's no way that I'm gonna see normal you know People playing online allowing me to get that far up and that close without killing me that close. But man, this game, it looks so, so good. And I'm playing this on my iPhone XR. And just the the quality of graphics is just amazing on this. My gosh, I've already ran out of ammo. My, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go do something now. I gotta hope to find a gun. Let's see, let's check back here. Okay, and if they have, if this is a complete port of Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, I don't know why I keep saying Call of Duty 2. Um, my gosh, they better have zombies on it. Oh, I'm getting attacked here. Oh, uh, they're like busting through the windows too, so I'm gonna have to, I gotta get down. Okay, so pressing down on the crouch button will allow you to go ahead and lay down on your, like, go belly down. And let's see. Oh, man. Not bad. Okay, so we gotta pick up his gun. So the gun lays right there. That's the only thing that I don't like. I wish you could just run over it and then you could like, it was just an easy tap, but I'm, I might be picking up the gun a little bit too weird. I, where'd I put it? Where'd I put the gun? Unless that one didn't have any ammo in it. Oh man, so back to the knife. I'm glad that it automatically shifts you back to the knife when you run out of ammo. So we're going to have to just kill somebody or get killed and then that way we can get more weapons. So let's kill this guy. Okay, he's out pick this one up and let's get in oh man this is a comp this is so so well done and i've used to play uh call of duty black ops 2 with um with some friends just via uh the playstation 3 and this this looks way better than that oh man okay let's see here let's try this guy out friendly hunter killer drone deployed oh wow really oh my gosh just threw my drone away pretty much. All right, let's set this guy up too. Let's try this out. This is the different perks that you can get as you're killing guys. Oh man, that went, that went well. This is so cool. My gosh, this game, it brings back so many memories and they need to have zombies on here. I gotta check to see if they end up having zombies on this thing because that's gonna completely just take away my attention to any game like I love Final Fantasy games but this is another game that I'm, I'm like addicted to I love this one and it's, especially if they have zombies or if there's a, a DLC or a, a coming soon for zombies I'm gonna go crazy all right cool victory 20 to 7 it's not bad but the uh, the gameplay I think is amazing it's a real it's really well done I can't wait to try it out on different controllers too so you to be able to use your Xbox One or even your PlayStation 4 controller, which is kind of weird because, like, if you have a PlayStation or an Xbox One, 
you should be able to just play it from your home but i guess if you're out and about and you're with friends and you want to play it and you got your controller with you you can do that as well too but uh looks like we leveled up looks like your gun leveled up a little bit same like doesn't look like there's any too anything too crazy like the as far as like the leveling up goes um that's pretty cool that each match will allow your gun to get better over time and that you can get different uh you know attachments like the different types of scopes uh looks like we got we can hold grenades now again i was on level one so this i'm going into level two so there's this just like the basics of the basics that you're that you can get i'm sure there's going to be way more and just so many more different guns that come out that you can get for this for your character as they continue to level up and as you begin to level up your weapon as well too all right okay okay so we got our scope now too on our gun that's nice nice all right Man, I am so psyched for this game. I really cannot wait for this to officially come out via the United States. Because uh, right now, I am not in Australia. And this is only available in Australia. And I'm going to show you real quick how to... Oh, there it is. Zombies coming soon. Oh, man. There it is. Okay. Well, now I'm now I'm hyped for this game. Okay. Like this, like this video. Like any video that you see with Call of Duty Mobile on. Because this is an, an amazing game. You guys have got to get this game. Let me show you guys real quick how to get it on your iOS device. So let's go ahead and back out. And real quick, we're going to show you guys how to get this. So we're going to open up our app store and under your profile. And I'm going to show you real quick right now. I'm currently under a, a Australia VPN or I'm using the VPN to allow me to ping my device to make it seem like I'm in Australia. So I'm going to show you guys all about that. But it seems like this is going to go just a little bit slow, but no worries. We're going to go into our app store. We're going to click on our uh, profile and then we're going to change the uh, the country and the region, the region that we're in. And we're currently I'm in United States, but we're going to change that over into Australia. That way we can play the game. Unfortunately, it does take a second to load. Uh, I apologize for that. I'm just currently under a VPN, so there is going to be a little bit of a lag with this uh, with this part of the tutorial. So we're changing our country and our region, and let's go to the next page. Let's hurry. Come on. Awesome. So change country or region. That's the thing that you're going to want to choose. Now with this, you're going to want to make sure that you've you've also looked up an address in australia whether it be a landmark i usually will use like a church or like a land or a specific landmark uh and i'll plug in that specific address for my apple id so we're going to go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions on this one and then automatically it brings you over to your country and region and then it brings you to your payment information too so under this under this whole section i would honestly just put none as your payment section because the game is completely free to get so just put none plug in your name plug in your address or plug in the un address for that's from australia so whether it be if you know somebody in australia that they can give you their address you can do that you can do a landmark you can do anything and get that as and then just plug that in and it will change your address and it'll change your profile to australia and then you can go ahead and search for the game and download it now this is what is allowing me to use the game it's proton vtn vpn excuse me this will allow your device to play like it's in australia and it's a free download as well too this is an easy download this is completely free i'm gonna go ahead and pull up the app store and i'll leave the link for this guy in the description down below so make sure that you do download this vpn because this will allow you to play the game because otherwise if you try to boot up the game it continues to boot not boot loop but it continues to loop you out of the game because it doesn't it's not available yet in the united states so if you're in australia that's a whole other different story but download this proton vpn this will allow that game to to allow call of duty mobile to work and then you can go ahead and play so just make sure that you select australia make sure that the uh that it is toggled on and then you choose not switch i think it's switzerland and then just choose that uh to initiate or to to toggle on and then your game should start to work from there but i hope you guys did like this video so excited for call of duty if you guys did please like this one up comment subscribe if you have any questions or concerns i'll be more than happy to help you guys out with this but i'll be catching you guys on the next video peace